The petition was created by the students and circulated throughout the country in which we collected 11,000 signatures in support of the five demands, which are, number one, facilitate all newly enrolled students to watch an educational resource on sexual harassment and make sexual harassment a topic in every induction for newly enrolled students. Number two, conduct a yearly training for all staff on sexual harassment. At the end of the training, all staff must sign a standardized code of conduct and ethics. Number three, appoint a gender officer with the obligation to facilitate training and outreach on sexual harassment, provide resources and support to victims of sexual harassment, and develop, implement, and review relevant policies on sexual harassment. Number four, to establish an investigative committee that students can approach when they have received unfair or missing marks due to instances of sexual harassment for university lecturers or staff. And number five, the last one, to incorporate all these demands into a sexual harassment policy, publish an annual report detailing the progress on achieving the objectives, and, um, and implement a sexual harassment assessment survey every two years to monitor the issue. It is now 11 months and two days since the report was handed over to the Ministry of Education, and we are sorry to say that as students from higher learning institutions, we have not received any feedback or report whatsoever from the Ministry of Education concerning the implementation of the mentioned demands in the petition. What happened to the petition is the question that we are asking today. And why is the Ministry of Education silent on this pertinent issue?